This is Aries Launch Control at T minus two hours, 27 minutes, 40 seconds in county. And here in the Mission Director Center, we're being joined by Terry McGugan, who is the manager of parachute operations for United Space Alliance. And uh, he uh, has been responsible for a lot of the activity that we have seen in that video just uh, that we've just played that uh, is involved with getting these shoots ready for the Ares 1X booster to fly today. And um, Terry, I wonder, first of all, can you tell us um, how many how many shoots are actually on it and how does it differ from the, the shoots that are on the shuttle? Sure, George. I, I'm glad to talk about that a little bit. Uh, same components, uh, same number of components is on a shuttle mission. There's three main parachutes one drogue and one pilot parachute for the Ares. Uh, they're different in construction and materials, but they're, they're running the same purpose. And the process, once it comes in aerodynamically and we start throwing the parachutes, it's very similar to what we do on the shuttle missions. Now, is there any kind of a chute at all on the second stage, the upper stage, or not? Uh, no, not for uh, this mission. Uh, there are parachutes that will be there on the Orion capsule eventually. But uh, those are different parachutes than what we're doing in my shop. What's the very first chute that we're going to see if we have a chance to see this visually that's going to come out? Sure, this yeah. Morning? The, the first parachute is called the pilot parachute. It comes out first, and its job is basically to pull out the drogue parachute. So it immediately pulls out the drogue parachute out of its deployment bag. The drogue parachute orients the vehicle more or less in line and gets it to where it's not tilted over too far, and then the main parachute's deployed. And those are deployed on uh, altitude switch sensors that determine when these parachutes get deployed. So can you give us an idea then, after the separation occurs from the upper stage and, and the first stage, how soon after that do we see the first chute come out, or does it fall for a while first? A actually, it falls quite a while. You don't see the parachutes until way late in the game. Uh, the the booster separates from the upper stage and it goes through a, a tumble maneuver and then an aerodynamic re-entry and it comes quite a ways down into the atmosphere. I believe that these are set to go off at about 15,000 feet is where we start uh, arming up the, the pilot parachute. Now how is the retrieval by the uh, ship's different. I think it's actually the, the Liberty Star that's uh, Is Liberty going to pick up the, the booster? Uh, it'll be a lot of ways it's going to be uh, similar to an SRB mission, but we've got a different orientation. Uh, it's a longer vehicle. It's actually a five-segment booster. Of course, for this mission, the fifth segment is uh, non-functional. It's not, a, not really a motor. It's just a simulator, but it's a longer booster. And so we have some different dynamics about how it lays in the water and stuff. But they're just going to go up and get a hold of the booster, uh, retrieve the parachutes, get them reeled on board. Of course, on this mission, we're only going to get back the three mains. The uh, drug parachute stays attached to the forward skirt extension, and that does not have flotation for this test flight, and so we won't retrieve that, whereas on an SRB mission uh, for the shuttle system, we retrieve all the parachutes. Well, Terry, thank you very much. We appreciate that uh, further explanation, and, of course, the uh, tape showing some of your team in uh, action there getting the shoots for this mission ready to go. So it's, it's a great team, George. I have some awesome people working with me, so thank you very much. Thank you. And we're now at T-minus 2 hours, 23 minutes, 52 seconds and counting. This is Aries Launch Control.